Hi, good afternoon and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about effective dating and we're using Siebel Public Sector for this demonstration. Effective dating is the idea that certain fields would need to be recorded along with an effective date. For example, your citizenship on an effective date or your place of residence on a particular date. To enable effective dating requires two simple steps. The first step is to go to the sitemap administration application and go to the system preferences and make sure that the enable effective dating system preference is set to true. In a real environment, this is in the sample database, in a real environment this would involve also restarting your SQL servers. Then I'm going to go back to the sitemap and go to administration effective dating which is in the responsibility uh, for sadmin and is a screen in the Siebel public sector application. At the moment as you can see there are no business components for which effective dating has been enabled. I'm going to go ahead and enable effective dating for the um, for the uh, contact business component means that the user will be able to directly edit the field as normal but there will be a new icon in place to indicate effective dating and we've added one new field we're going to have the last name field effective dating so if a member of the public changes their name for example because they get married scroll up to the top and click clear cache now we'll go to our contacts. So we're going to go ahead now and go to our contact list. And in the contact list, we're going to look at the last name field. You will notice that both in the list applet and in the form applet, there is a new history icon. If I click the icon, I will see the field value and any associated effective dates. Because I chose to allow in place editing, I can edit the field as normal, but when I click the history, you will notice that my new value is effective by default as of today. Let's make it effective. As we saw in the administra administration effective dating screen, S contact now has an effective dating history table, the S contact underscore ED. And a quick search in Siebel Tools will a number of business components have already had effective dating enabled and an effective dating history table created. The Siebel Bookshelf gives examples and instructions on how to extend effective dating into other business components, as well as handling more complex scenarios like effective dating on child business components and many-to-many -many links. We'll be looking at those in a future podcast. Have fun. Take care.